What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. People been asking me about FBG Duck. His name back in the headlines on the blogs because news have broke that his trial is going to start. You know, um, it's crazy, too, because I didn't really see this happening with Duck. His death is real crazy to me. People don't understand, you know. Duck died like Al Capone style. He was standing in the covet line, in the line. You know, the cover, you got to stand outside. They only let a few people in. Somebody came past and killed him. I thought that shit was very crazy. But uh, according to the U.S. District Judge, Martha Paco, the trial is set for October 2nd, 2023, not August. It's set for October. The trial is set. These guys are going to fight for their trial, their life at this trial, which I believe... Uh, it's going to be at the Dirksen Federal Building, Federal Courthouse, okay? It's going to be at the Dirksen Federal Courthouse, and that's downtown Chicago. So that's where Muwak, Kenny Mack, Lowe's, C-Murder, C-Thing going to fight that case there. Um, the assistant U.S. attorney actually said that they believe this trial is going to last one month. They believe that with so many co-defendants, so much uh, evidence, that this trial is going to last at least four weeks. Okay? The police is a legend. Now, this is the thing that a lot of people didn't understand. We understand that the police, the feds are a legend, are rap beef. But when I look into it, too, they also a legend that it was a gang war going on with the old block faction and a faction of GDs from, you know, the St. Lawrence area. So they're linking that beef from Old Block Tukaville into this here, uh, from when I look into that shit. Uh, you know, the five defendants, you know, are each charged with, with murder and the aid of racketeering, as well as firearm violation and assaults and aids of racketeering. Um, so they're alleging that everybody wasn't, I guess, killers, I guess. Some people might have just been there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that means. I don't want to, you know, make up no lies or nothing. But when I see the aid and, you know, it make me feel like maybe was helping out. That's what the police are alleging. But I can be wrong. I'm not a lawyer. Um, I'm going to tell you what's crazy about this, though. You know, I'm not sure if these guys got a, a lawyer or nothing like this, but you know, when the feds come, you gotta get a lawyer. You know, the law is all about knowledge loopholes. You know, you can get a lawyer who went to one of them colleges where it costed them $20 million to go to that college. You know, he done read that law upside down. He know all the loopholes. He might be able to come in there and say, hey, did you get a bottle of water before 2.30? Oh, well, they can't ask you questions before 2.15 if they ain't gave you that. See, he know these things to get certain shit took out. You know, I'm not sure if these guys got the bag, if they rich, they're able to get a good lawyer to be able to fight a fair case. It's going to be hard to fight a fair case with just a regular $500 lawyer. Even if you got a lawyer, a regular $500, $1,000 lawyer, it's going to be hard to fight this kind of fair case. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The evidence we heard so far seems circumstantial, okay? Maybe the feds are holding the information so... We don't know it, you know, maybe the feds is holding the information so they can just blast you with it. But a lot of the information we've seen so far was circumstantial video. We ain't really seen uh, the, the the information to say, hey, that go do it right there, we see his face. So maybe the feds got that, you know. But I'm not gonna lie, the feds have like a 98% conviction rate, okay? So it'd be hard to beat the feds, you know. I'm not gonna lie, it's a possibility that we would, you know, Never see them young men again. And it's a possibility that we'll see them young men again, you know? They are presumed innocent to proven guilty. That's the one thing I think people don't understand. We can't just convict them until we let the evidence come out. But I'm not gonna lie, that's some strong evidence. The thing is, with the case taking another year, makes me believe it's more to come, you know? The fact that we haven't heard anything about plea agreements we haven't heard that you know we haven't heard anything about plea agreements lead me to believe that the feds ain't trying to work out deals lead me to believe that they know what happened 
uh, they know exactly what happened, and the feds are gonna try to prosecute these guys. Now, maybe the plea agreements will come out a little bit later on, but uh, in my opinion, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but this seemed like a very hard case for them young men to, 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 to be, you know? Uh, in my opinion, especially when you got like the feds, they got all kind of resources and things that uh, lock you up, you know. I keep telling people this here because you live in your ghetto ass community, man, and I ain't saying your community ghetto, but I'm just saying, man, you treat it like it's ghetto because you don't give a fuck about what's going on. You don't go to none of the meetings in your hood, your town hall meetings. You're not voting for your audience. You're not voting for nobody in your community. You don't go to your kids' school, none of that shit. These people in this downtown area, they go to all them things. When that shit happened in their community, they wanted to know what happened.